My name is Johnny Lee, and I work in the Advanced Technology and Projects Group at Google. Our small team here, based in California, has been working with universities, research labs, and industrial partners to harvest the last 10 years of research in robotics and computer vision to concentrate that technology into a very unique mobile phone. We are physical beings that live in a 3D world, yet mobile devices today assume that the physical world ends at the boundaries of the screen. Our goal is to give mobile devices a human-scale understanding of space and motion. This is going to allow people to interact with their environment in just a fundamentally different way. We can prototype in a couple hours something that would take us months or even years before because we didn't have this technology readily available. What happens if you have all of these pieces in a phone? How does that change what a phone is? We have created a prototype phone containing highly customized hardware and software designed to allow the phone to track its motion in full 3D in real time as you hold it. These sensors make over a quarter million 3D measurements every single second, updating the position and rotation of the phone, fusing this information into a single 3D model of the environment. We have a problem called navigation indoors, and it's a solution to that problem. It tracks your position as you go around the world, and it also makes a map of that. Imagine that you scan a small section of your living room, and then are able to generate a little game world in it. I don't know of any other controller or gaming device that can do that at the moment. Putting all this together, they pulled in experts from all around the world and got them all working on the same project. Those are very high caliber people. Why? It's very simple. I think actually people believe in the vision. Localization and mapping is there on your phone and you just use it. It's this ability to follow in other people's footsteps. And we can also like benefit from what we do for the project back for the open source community. Use it for visually impaired, give them auditory cues on where they're going. You know, being able to map your home, oh, check out, let me see how this furniture looks in my room. Virtual windows to sort of different worlds. I mean, the possibilities are really endless. Over the next few months, we will be distributing dev kits to software developers to develop applications and algorithms on top